What is up you guys, it is Jason here and welcome back to another video here. In today's video, we are going to be discussing about the Greninja Zoroark GX deck. So if you guys are from the Hey Fonte group or the Pokemon TCG online community from Facebook, my name is Jason Lim and yeah, I am the one who actually created this deck and I got a lot of haters telling me that this deck is a meme or this deck sucks. So... Well, you gotta know, haters gotta, haters gotta hate, and yeah, I'm gonna show you guys the more improved Greninja Zoroark deck. So if you're gonna see, um, Greninja, oh, yeah, the deck, and it's not an old lose if you're against Giratina, you can Zoroark, uh, Guzma for the Giratina and Righteous Beating. So yeah, I've upgraded this deck a bit, and yeah, I put some new cards in it. So yeah, make sure to tell me down below in the comments what you think, and yeah. Let's get to it, and before we start, I'm gonna be showing you guys the list that I have first created. Yes, yeah, I have, I'm missing one Tapu Lele at my first, yeah, I didn't actually calculate the cards, so yeah. So yeah, for now, we are gonna be starting the deck. So, starting off, we are gonna play four copies of Froggy, two copies of Frogadier, and more Solis, and we're gonna play four copies of Greninja. And we are gonna play three copies of Greninja Break. So, Greninja Break here is actually pretty good for its ability. Jam Water Shuriken, uh, but yeah, you can use your energy, water energy to discard it. And yeah, for 60 damage. And Righteous Beating for 120 is 180. With Choice Bane is 210. It's actually pretty good. You could hit more high numbers if you have Guzma. And two water energies, you can actually hit for one. Yeah, you can actually hit for 250 with choice band so it's actually pretty good if you have all the number and all the cards you need so i have some really famous questions that people ask me in the hey fonte group they some people ask me why don't you play splash energy and the reason i don't play, i don't play splash energy is because greninja break is not the main attacker greninja break is a secondary attacker and my main attacker is actually zoroark because yeah Righteous Beating actually deals more damage, and if I'm against Metagross or um, Volcanion, I'll actually go for Greninja to hit for Weakness instead. Yeah, so it's not an lose if you're against Weakness or you're against Giratina. So that's why I make this deck. A lot of people ask me, why would you waste your time on building this Greninja Break deck and the Zoroark deck? It wouldn't work. It's different type, it uses different energy. So I was like, mm, a lot of my friends have been telling me that if, if if yeah, if you are against Giratina, you will probably lose the game, and I I don't I don't I don't think that's true if you're playing this deck. But if you're playing against Giratina and you're just playing playing Greninja, yeah, your odds of of winning is definitely lower. But yeah, for this deck, yeah, with Zero White, it's definitely not. You're not gonna lose one hundred percent, but you have the chances of winning. So yeah. So we're gonna play three copies of Greninja Break. So moving on here, we are gonna play three copies of Zorua here, and we're gonna play two copies of Zoroark GX and one copy of Mind Jack. So here's what yeah, let's explain it. So for the Mind Jack for the Mind Jack here, we I'm playing one copy of it because I'm gonna hit for numbers here. We can actually hit for a high number of one ninety if you are if you have choice man, if you're early game. You have like Tapu Lele, and you're gonna take the knock, and that's how you do it. And basically, a lot of people ask me, why don't you just play this Zoroark? Yeah, the Zoroark GX, three copies of it. But I don't think if you're if yeah if you get like um a dead hand, this Mind Jack Zoroark could actually help you though. And if if you yeah if you're against Lapras, and they actually use the GX to to paralyze you, and you could use the Mind Jack. And to grab it back, or you, or you can even use my deck plays Acerola, and yeah, that's the yeah, that's what mind jacks do. And it actually, yeah, you can use that in to yeah, remove the paralysis or the confusing or whatever. So, yeah, for trade here for the Zoroark GX here, the righteous beating is actually dealing 120 damage if we have a full bench, and if we have another choice when it deals another 150, and it deals another 30 damage. If we are gonna be compare, yeah, we're gonna be comboing these two shuriken for 60 and righteous beating for 150, it's gonna deal two. 110 damage if we have two water energies and a guzma we are actually going to be dealing a lot of damage like um we are going to be dealing 
250 damage which is a lot of damage you can even take up a Sogalio GX or even a Metagross GX so yeah you can hit the numbers that you never think you would ever hit for so yeah okay so that's the purpose of this and moving on we are playing two copies of Tapu Lele Tapu Lele um this deck if you guys notice we only play two copies of well, Frogadier because yeah we actually use rare candies in, in, in this deck so yeah two copies of Tapu Lele obviously for the one attack ability here for a turn one Bridget so yeah Tapu Lele and People have been asking me, why don't you type one copy of Tapu Fini? I don't think we should type a copy of Tapu Fini. Tapu Fini, usually you use it when you yeah, your opponent sets up a big Pokemon. But now you have Zoroark GX. And you have Zoroark GX. And I don't think you should... Yeah, Tapu Fini is actually needed in this deck anymore. And Espeon EX, since we're hitting uh, such a huge, num huge number, I don't think Espeon EX is necessary. So yeah. I'll answer all, all, yeah, if you guys have any more questions, I'll answer it all in, in the comments below. And you can let me know what you think about this deck. And yeah, moving on, we are going to play four copies of N, three copies of Professor Sycamore. Now, we are going to play playing four copies of N before, because if your opponent has like a Volcanion, and he, let, let's say he has a Ho-O, and he takes... And he uh, first thing he away and he takes a lot of prizes and you could actually end him to a really bad hand and he could not couldn't respond. Yeah, so that's for N and for Sycamore. I only play three copies of it because we're playing the trade ability with the zero with the trade ability. And we don't wanna be we don't wanna try the sycamore too much here. Um, for Sycamore, actually we are trying to dig, uh, dig for the water energy to, yeah, for the giant water shuriken. So yeah, that's why we play Professor Sycamore, we play 3 and not 2 copies of it. So, we're moving on, we're gonna play 2 copies of Guzma, 2 copies of Bridget, and we're gonna play 3 copies of Acerola. So basically, here's how it works. If you're, if you, last turn, if you, um, let's talk about Acerola first. First, if in your last turn you have um, Giant Water Shuriken and Righteous Beating for 180 damage or maybe 210, 210 damage and your opponent's not dead and they hit you, your Zoroark, for a chunk of damage. So here's where Acerola comes in. You are going to be yeah, Acerola lining up and maybe promoting your Greninja Break and Giant Water Shuriken and you could, and you could yeah, promote another Zoroark in and take another huge damage so yeah that's what Acerola is for for a lot of scenarios Acerola is really useful you could even Acerola up your Greninja but that would not be advisable because I play Red Candy and it's really hard to evolve yeah you might not even have the cards you need to evolve so yeah uh, advisable for you to yeah Acerola up your Zoroark and for Bridget you are gonna be expecting a turn 1 Bridget here yeah, and some people ask me, why don't you play three copies of Bridget and one copy of Tapu Lele? So that's actually a good question. Let me ask. Let me let me, let me put it in this way. What happens if you turn one and you got an Ultra Ball and you find in and you want to Ultra Ball and find your Tapu Lele, but you price only one of your Tapu one. You place if yeah, the the choices I see people play. They play three Bridgets and one Tapu Lele. What happens if you price your Lele and you have Bridget? You have three of them and you can't even get. Your Bridget, so that's why I play a split line, two two Tapu Lasers and two Bridget. Okay, moving on to the Guzma line. We played only two copies of Guzma because, you know, Greninja, you could actually, you know, Giant Water Shuriken back, so you don't need Guzma, and you can actually play three copies of Guzma and take out one copy of Professor Sycamore, but I prefer two copies of Guzma. So, moving on, we are going to be playing... Four copies of Ultra Ball and two copies of Evo Soda. So Evo Soda here is basically I'm gonna get to evolve to my Zoroark right? if I'm in a, actually in a bad hand and I don't I have Ultra Ball and I even I can't even evolve to my Zoroark. Right? This is where um this is where the Evo Soda comes in handy that I could use it to evolve to my Zoroark. Right? Even taking out a knockout here if my opponent is already having a bad hand and Zoroark right can actually take the knockout. So that's what Evo Soda is for. Two copies of Evo Soda isn't much. 
yeah sometimes you can even evolve to your greninja break your in evolved to greninja evolved to zoro or you, yeah this card is really useful that's why we're playing two copies and not four okay moving on we are going to be playing two copies of fuel blower and two copies of fuel blower because um, basically, if you guys notice, Garbotoxic is basically dead right now. Nobody, nobody is actually playing Garbodor right now. So yeah, it's actually safe for you to play two copies of Fuel Blower. So yeah, moving on, we're gonna play two copies of Choice Band. I don't think Choice Band. We don't need Choice Band that much. So yeah, I'm just playing two copies of Choice Band for hitting more numbers like 180. You could actually hit for 210. Double Shuriken. You could actually hit for 250. Um, if you don't double shuriken and you're righteous beating, yeah, without the choice band, it's not, uh, you're not gonna be knocking out. So, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, I think I, I messed up. If I have a full bench, Jorwag is gonna get 150 and Winninja is gonna deal 120. We have two shurikens, so it's actually 270. Without the choice band, it's gonna deal 240. I mean, like, if you're against Sogalia, yeah, you're missing 10 damage and you don't have a water support Pokemon that can hit for yeah 10 more damage like Delmice here so yeah moving on to the list we're gonna play one copy of super art and one copy of rescue stretcher so here super art actually um you could rescue stretcher your greninja greninja barracks and yeah everything your pokemon and super art is actually for the for their energy yeah because we are not playing a lot of energy in this deck so yeah that's why i play one copy of super rod you can even change up to another copy of super rod people have been asking me why don't you play two copies of super rod i mean like a lot of scenarios where you need uh, you need like a zoroar gx to attack and you have one in the discard and you price one of your one of your zoroar gx i mean like if you rest your treasure back to the deck it's not gonna be easy to find so yeah you could rest the treasure back to your hand and evolve it. So that's why we are playing one copy of Super Rod and one copy of Rescue Stretcher. And we're gonna play three copies of Red Candy. Obviously, Froakie, we, we only play two copies of Frogalier. We're not gonna be water duplicating unless we are actually in a really tight position where we cannot do anything. So that's where water duplicates comes in. So with Red Candy, Froggy, yeah, we're gonna evolve Froakie to Greninja here. So yeah, that's basically their use of red candy and moving on to the last item cards we're gonna play two copies of energy retrieval well for now i'm not gonna be playing um one one line of starmie because we have too many evolution lines here we have the greninja line and the zorak line if we fit another starmie line in it i don't think it's actually gonna be good so that's why i'm playing two copies of energy retrieval and a super to get back your energy so that's why we play so many and yeah, we can get back and not special charge. We're not gonna be playing any special charges. So finally, moving on to the energy counts. We are gonna be playing four copies of double colorless energy and six copies of energy, water energy here. Six copies is actually basically for you could enjoy for giant water shurikening and double colorless energy. Basically, if yeah, you could use mind jack to attack. Zorak is beating to attack or even energy drive if it's necessary. If you're up, yeah, if you're facing Gaslord, probably you won't. Yeah, that's where Tapu Lele comes in with a Shuriken and a Tapu Lele to hit for a lot of damage. So basically, yeah, you're gonna be taking out with Righteous Beating and Shuriken. I don't think you're gonna be taking out 180 Gaslord. It's 220 or 2. 230, I, I forgot it, but if you have Tapu Lele, Garslaw has 6 energies and you have 2, it's gonna be hitting for 120 with another sh with another Shuriken or a Choice Band, you can actually take it out. So that yeah, basically that's how we play it. Yeah, so that's the deck for the famous Zoroark Greninja deck. I am the creator of this deck. I don't mind anyone who hates me for this deck. Um, I'm, I, created that, I created this deck because... I am sick of auto losing against Giratina. So yeah, that's why I created this deck. And yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to like the video, subscribe, and share it with your friends. And let me know what you think down below in the comments. And yeah, that's all for today. And I hope you guys, I hope to see you guys in the next video. And you guys have a good day. And peace out.